In this video, I'm going to review the brand new Kinesis Form ergonomic keyboard with the trackpad in the middle. I'm going to tell you everything I like about it, the pros and cons, who it's for. And if you stick around until the end of the video, I will let you know how you can enter a giveaway for a chance to actually win your very own Kinesis Form keyboard. Brand new inbox will ship it to you. All you got to do is stick around for the end. And I'm going to tell you exactly what to do. But let's go right into the review of the actual keyboard itself. Make sure you click subscribe button. It does help the channel a lot. A lot of effort goes into these videos and it truly is the best way to support if you enjoy. But let's get back to the video. So about three months ago, I made a video talking about the best split keyboard for software engineers. And I'm talking about the main keyboard I use, which is the Kinesis Advantage 360. Now, full disclosure, Kinesis did send me all the keyboards I'm talking about and showing right now. And I even have my own discount code, Melky15, for 15% off your entire order. However, I am not affiliated with Kinesis, meaning if you use this code for your purchase and get that nice 15% off, I do not gain anything. You can, you know, for all the purchase made, I do not gain any money. Kinesis just sends me some keyboards here and there, and it's super appreciated. I think it's even better. So if you want, if you like it, if you like any of the Kinesis keyboards, go ahead and get 15% off. Why not, right? So this is what it looks like when we open it up. Allegedly, it's a split keyboard designed for beginners, and it's affordable. That's what I was told. This is sick, dude. Let's actually continue on and see what we get with the box here. So if we kind of look open, there is, so we open this box up. All right, let's get that out of here. What else do we got? We have uh, additional keycaps. Okay, cool. These are always nice to have. Okay, uh, we have a, oh, so you can remove the keys. Interesting. And then we have the actual cable. It looks like it is a USB type three, I believe. So this plugs into your computer. This goes into the actual keyboard. Let's actually do, before I plug it in and, and experiment with it, let's actually take one of these keycaps out. Let's see what we're dealing with right here. We got some red switches underneath, but jumping back into the Kinesis form, it is 199 USD. And as the description reads, our newest entry level ergonomic keyboard features a split laptop layout, an integrated Windows precision touchpad, low profile mechanical switches, a premium machined aluminum case, white backlighting, and dual Bluetooth slash USB connectivity. Now, the very first thing you may notice is it is one keyboard, but it does have the split component. You have your left side and your right side. And another thing that catches my eye is the trackpad here, which we'll go into detail in just a little bit. But the thing that stands out to me the most is actually the quality of this keyboard. When I think of a laptop keyboard, like an Apple keyboard, I think of something very light and flimsy, like you can almost snap. There is absolutely no snapping this keyboard. This is a quality created piece of tech. And I mean, it's engineered, it's machined, like that aluminum casing, it looks so sleek. Like this finish is just so crisp. It looks clean and it has this nice weight to it. Not like an um, inconvenient weight where you don't want to put it in your backpack because it's going to be too heavy to carry or it's just an inconvenience to hold and maneuver. I mean, this thing has the perfect weight that just demonstrate that it's a good piece of tech. I almost don't want to get it dirty if I'm being honest. Now, the appearance and weight is definitely one of the pros of this keyboard right off the bat. However, it also leads me to one of my first cons, which is that the keys are not ortholinear. They're not columnar stacked. They're staggered like a regular traditional laptop keyboard or a mechanical keyboard. You can see all the keys are staggered. And what this is, it's not the best if you are looking for a pure ergonomic experience because moving side to side up down in a staggered layout will actually strain your hand and your wrist. However, this does provide a component of ergonomic friendliness, which is the separation of the two sides, the left side and the right side. Each side gives you a space bar. So for your left hand, your left thumb goes here, your right hand, your right thumb goes here. And the distance between the two components, the two sides will actually reduce any chances you may get of straining the upper portion of your neck. Now on smaller, tighter keyboards, when you put your hands close together, you may pinch the upper side, this upper portion of your shoulder area. And if you do suffer from that, I think this is a great option to consider if you want to kind of dive into ergonomic 
keyboards. And the second component that really catches my eyes, obviously this trackpad in the middle, right smack in the middle. And there's actually a really cool video from Kinesis that shows the kind of inspiration behind this design. So you can see here, you have this traditional laptop, like MacBook looking and how they came up with it was actually pretty cool. So you can see here, they kind of split it, gave it more of a width and then they slid that trackpad right in the middle. So it goes without saying, when you buy this keyboard, you also get a mouse component included. And I think this kind of makes it stand out. I think this makes the Kinesis form one of the only options on the market that actually gives you a trackpad built in, which I think is super unique and could make it stand out in the market. So the question remains, how good is it? So I'm gonna go ahead and plug the keyboard in. And right away, you can also see that nice backlighting they mentioned. It's this nice faint white backlighting. It's not gonna be like an over, you know, RGB, you know, European club style keyboard with the different colors, rave style. It's just this nice faint, subtle backlight that really gives you, you know, an indicator that's on. You can see where you're clicking. And I just think it's really nice, to be honest. So you can see here, uh, I'm no longer gonna be using this mouse. I'm gonna put it to the side. And I'm gonna be using the track pad here. So the trackpad feels extremely responsive. I mean, it's you, it moves perfectly. You can do two fingers to uh, adjust it. You can see here, I'll type something like, hello, YouTube, and I can click out and I can drag this anywhere I want, side to side, up, down, you know, however freely you want to drag, you have that control over it. To click, it's just simple, you know, two finger click, one finger click, it's right and left. Uh, however, I will say another con of the trackpad that I have or with this keyboard is that there is no responsive feedback when you click down on the mouse pad or the trackpad. Uh, for example, like the Apple trackpad, it gives you an option to feel that responsive click when you wanna click it or not. This does not give you that option. So when you click on it, there is no kind of feedback click. It's just you have to tap it and it, and it kind of works. So that's a bit of a con. I personally like that feedback to know I've clicked something or not, but I think you can get used to it fairly quickly. And uh, just to demonstrate, this is me typing it. There's no uh, click on the uh, trackpad, okay? getting used to it too. But what's a keyboard review video without the crisp sound? I mean, just listen. Okay, so this brings me to the pros and cons list. So I'll start with the pros. Obviously, like I said, it feels high quality, it has a good weight to it. The metal just feels high quality. The switches and keycaps just feel nice to use. I mean, it's not like a regular low profile keyboard. This has like a mechanical, kind of inspiration to it, which makes it just feel nice when you use it. The backlighting, I'm a big fan of. That might be just me, but it's just such a clean backlight. And really, I think the game changer here is how good the trackpad and mouse pad is. It's super responsive. I mean, this thing doesn't miss a beat. It's extremely responsive from just scrolling with it, doing whatever I want. It's very comparable to the Apple trackpad in terms of quality and responsiveness. Although I will say it does lack that feedback, which again to my cons. And then finally, it is easy to get used to. I mean, this is designed and targeted for people who wanna maybe enter an ergonomic keyboard domain, I think this is a perfect one to get into. I think it's pretty affordable with the price point and it's super easy to get used to. You may kind of stumble around your few keys when you first get it, but overall it's super, super beginner friendly. Now into the cons, which I've already said, it's not actually a full split keyboard. It is one piece. It's just separated. So it's a bit wider than a traditional laptop keyboard layout. Their keys are not ortholinear, so they're staggered. And the switches are not hot swappable. So you can change the keycaps all you want, but the actual switches underneath are not hot swappable. So when you get the Kinesis form, you kind of are stuck with uh, the switches they provide. And two more things, which one I talked about, there's no trackpad feedback, so that click, and there's no tilt to the keyboard itself. So it's completely low profile when you purchase it, you just set it on your desk and there's no components now to give you that tilt. Overall though, I absolutely love this keyboard. I'm keeping this one, I've used it for about a week now. I've caught completely used to it. I love the fact that there's two space bars. It's actually a nice quality of life feature. You don't notice how convenient it is to hit the space bar kind of separately, but 
it's really nice. I learned that I actually use this trackpad quite often more than my mouse. I actually keep my mouse in the middle with my Kinesis 360. So this was just an easy adaption for me. And overall, I think this is a great keyboard for anyone interested to get into ergonomic keyboards, which leads me to the end of the video and discussing how you can actually win or enter a chance for your own Kinesis Form keyboard. Now, we'll be shipping this worldwide. So wherever you are, I'll be shipping this. I'll make sure it gets to you. And if you want to enter a chance to win, all you got to do is obviously be a subscriber to a YouTube channel and leave a comment down below how this keyboard will benefit you. What do you want to use it for? Do you like it? name something you like about it. So overall, just add a comment to this video, be subscribed, and I will announce the winner of the giveaway on my Twitter. So keep your eyes open for this. I'll probably give it a week or so to choose a winner randomly, and then I will uh, let that winner know. I'll give them a week. And if they do not respond in that week, the selected winner, I'll be choosing another winner. So keep your eyes open. I'll be posting this on the YouTube community, on a Discord, if you're there, on Twitter. I'll be trying to reach out to the winner myself. But this is a chance for yourself to win a Kinesis form. So go ahead. Let me know what you guys think. Hope you enjoyed this video and hope you enjoyed this review. Peace. Go get yourself a Kinesis keyboard.